I'm Howard Hale. Thanks for joining me for today's edition of the Horseman's Corner. On the program today, going to be talking with Utah horseman Jim Hicks about how he got involved with the discipline of dressage. You've heard us talk about Ag Market Online and how it's growing and changing every day. Now we've shortened the name and made it even easier to find on the web at agsearch.us. It's also easier to find the best ag businesses in the country by state or even by specific type of ag business. And the best news is that it's now easier than ever to get involved and start getting more exposure for your business. Visit agsearch.us to learn more. Jim Hicks is an excellent Utah horseman. Jim, how did you get involved with some dressage? What fascinated me about the dressage was when it was done harmoniously and athletically, it was uh, something beautiful to watch. And I was really intrigued by all of the different uh, things that a horse and rider could do and the refinement and the skill set that was involved in that. So that was... uh, One of the things that I inspired to learn a little bit more about. I would like to take all the credit for that, but initially it was uh, my wife that started taking some dressage lessons. And, of course, I was, you know, going to watch and watch and see and learn. And it wasn't too long after that that I I got the wifely nudge and said, you know, you should take a couple lessons. I think there's something that you would really appreciate in this. And so I went ahead and uh, took up that challenge. I have not met a horse and rider that cannot benefit through the principles of Ray and Tom, as well as the principles of the gymnastic exercises that you can do with the dressage. You tell horseman Jim Hicks, and I guess you'd say that good horsemanship's good horsemanship no matter what the discipline. Thanks for joining us. May God bless you. Come back in. Join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.